Welcome to Sew Anastasia and today we're going to be cutting out and sewing a high-waisted bikini bottom or you can also use it as a high-waisted underwear pattern. Okay, so I have the pattern pieces laid out here that I'm going to be using for our bathing suit bottom. Really simple pattern, there's only four pieces to it. We have our center back. This is going to be our center front with our side pieces on it. And then we have our crotch piece. And I bought this, or actually I made it. I have this really cute little cat print made and printed up on some spandex. It's kind of like a little vintagey cat. So I'm super excited to make a bathing suit out of it. And I think I'll be traveling this weekend so I can wear it. So I've got my fabric laid out here. You want to make sure when you're cutting out a bathing suit that the stretch of the fabric is going across your body because um, sometimes knits are only a one-way stretch. It is helpful if you find a spandex that has a four-way stretch to it. That way when you're moving around and swimming, there's no constraint at all on your body. So go ahead, lay out your pattern pieces for your bathing suit. Um, we've made the high waist to bathing suit bottom like I was saying, and we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. And just make sure if you have one uh, for one of the right side, make sure you cut out two, one for the left side, but make sure you flip your pattern because you have a print, so you wanna make sure you end up with a right and a left not two rights. Okay, and so you always want a lining for your bathing suit. Technically, if a bathing suit does not have lining, it's illegal to wear to the pool. Um, funny, right? Because you're barely in anything anyways. Um, but you want to use a tree caught lining, four-way stretch again, so that way it moves really well with your four-way stretch spandex. And you're going to cut out the exact same pieces that you cut out of your spandex. So let's cut it out. Okay, so I have my bathing suit bottom pattern laid out here. These are all the pieces it takes. How amazing, right? Only a couple pieces to sew. Um, so you want to go ahead and let's sew these together. And then let's go ahead and sew all of our lining pieces together. And then we're basically going to kind of pillowcase them together and cover stitch the edges. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm at the serger and I'm going to go ahead and serge all my seams together because I'm using a five thread serger. So it's also going to give me a permanent stitch and it's going to overlock the edges. So let's do it. So the first thing you want to do are your side seams to your back panel. Your back panel is that big butt panel. <laughs> um, so go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so on our back, one seam, we'll go ahead and do the other one. Okay, and now this funny little triangle is our center front of our bathing suit. So go ahead and put your right sides together. a circle to go around your body because we're going to go ahead and sew the other center front piece together. Okay, so now we have got basically a little mini skirt almost, but we need to connect the bottom, right? So that's where our crotch piece comes into play. So the flat edge lines up with the flat edge, right sides together always. And 
now we want to go ahead and sew up the curved piece here. bottom here and now what we need to do is the same thing to the lining fabric so that we end up with a lining bathing suit bottom and a spandex bathing suit bottom. Okay so now we want to go ahead and do the same thing for our white lining pieces here. So same process just go ahead and serge all your edges together. Almost there again, we're just missing that bottom piece, so we want to go ahead and sew that in. Okay, so now we have got our complete bathing suit lining here. So now what we want to do is go over to our cover stitch machine and cover stitch these together at the edges. Okay, so we have our bathing suit bottom all stitched together. We have our bathing suit lining all stitched together, and now what we want to do is put them inside of each other. So you want to go ahead and flip your bathing suit lining wrong sides out, so that way when you put it into the bathing suit, the nice smooth edges are going to be on the outside of you. So here's the outside. Now if you flip it out, you can see what our lining looks like in the inside. So you can't just go wearing it separate, so you have to figure out a way to finish off the edges. If you didn't have a cover stitch machine at home, you could also use a zigzag stitch, but I would use a really wide zigzag stitch and one that's more spaced out, probably around a three or a four, depending on the machine you're using, because if it's too tight, it's gonna make your fabric like stretch out and get all wavy and funky. Um, so let's go ahead and Make sure all of our edges are lined up and start cover stitching. And I really like to start at a side seam when I do this. Okay, so we went all the way around the top. Now, if you turn it inside out, you can see how you have basically, it looks like a serged edge, but it's your cover stitch edge. And then if you turn it right sides out, you can see how you have that nice little two band of what almost looks like top stitching on the outside. So now we wanna go ahead and do that for both of the leg holes, and then it's done. So easy, right? So we are so close to being done. We just have one leg hole left to do. So let's go ahead and sew it up, turn it under, and try it on. Okay, so we are officially done with our high-waisted bikini bottom, or you can use this as a panty bottom. So let's go ahead, trim our threads, and try it on. Woohoo! Here is our super cute high-waisted bathing suit bottom. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching Sewing Anastasia today. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll get back to you right away. I hope you had fun sewing your high-waisted bathing suit bottom with me. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, and happy summer!